Second stop along the route, we clock in to Ashland. And as you leave Hopkinton and enter Ashland, right there is TJ's. Hopkinton went dry, I think back in the 20s. This was what I was told. They picked the building up and moved it to Ashland. Ashland, 01721, established in 1846, current population 18,560. For this leg, I'm running with a few ladies from a 25-member running club. The crazies. <laughs> we call ourselves the Ashland crazies. Crazy for some might be running outside in 32-degree weather. On this day, Jen, Jen, Dara, and Karen are our guides on this three-mile stretch, which begins with a slight downhill, going from 300 feet to 250 feet, past mostly houses and the middle school. The runners are still really packed as you come through Ashland, but the crowds are even as crazier. It's it's high energy, lots of fun. Lots of fun is also dropping another 75 feet between mile marker three and four, and it becomes more commercial. What we don't see anymore along the route is the original Marathon start line before 1924, now called Marathon Park. The mascot is the clocker. Ashland is where Henry Warren invented the synchronous electric clock. You run right past the old Telecron building. You got to look up to the left. Um, and then a lot, of, a lot of stuff in town is kind of named after him. But we still have a mile to go, and that's where a gradual incline hits you. A 50-foot rise as you approach Framingham, the first city on the trot trot to Boston. In Ashland, Josh Brogadier, WCVB Sports Center 5. On to Framingham, and of course, Channel 5 is the exclusive local media partner of this year's race. You can watch all the events from start to finish on Patriots Day right here on Channel 5. <laughs>